Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Age of Engineering. We are back for episode two. Um, now, first thing, right off the bat, I want to say I am recording this uh, shortly after the first episode. So, um, uh, I, wa I wanted to do a little bit off camera, and then I decided that I wanted to record one more episode. So, um, I am recording this directly after the first episode. Um, well, not directly, but shortly after the first episode. I did a little bit of stuff off camera that we will run through. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we're going to continue. Um, so, first off, uh, I did some mining. Um, I went, I was over at the uh, mining pit and I went down the hole that I started um, off camera since it was going to be dark. And I found some coal, um, which is pretty cool so I could make some more torches, but I also, um, I'm a noob, I know, so, uh, mining level iron, a stone, stone pickaxe works at mining level iron, it means that it mines up to iron, but not more advanced, so we have a little bit of copper and tin, because that was in the hole as well, um, so we got some of that, um, some other things is I went on a little explore, and I found some gravel, and got a piece of flint out of it, so we have, uh, an flint and gravel so that we can make our um, mining multi-tool now so we can actually put together our portal so that is what we're going to be doing today we are going to put together a mining portal and go to the mining dimension so I think it's going to be quite the uh, quite the place um, I also did kill some mobs but that's not very important that's not important right now um, cook up some food for the journey uh, what can I do with this rice? It can turn into paper, it can turn into rice dough, or I can just eat it straight up, I believe. So, we'll just hold on to the rice for now. Uh, we'll take our bed just in case. We don't need that wool. Um, I just want to clear out uh, a bunch of my inventory of stuff that I'm not going to need for this expedition. So, yeah. Make sure I don't just lose everything if I die in uh, whatever is going to come. Alright, so we need to make... So we got a pickaxe. Um, so, uh, it's a pickaxe, f there, flint, and then two stone, and then there's our mining multi-tool, and then we use that to make two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten portal frames, and our mining tool is 50% used, so hopefully it will still work, we'll leave that stone, and let's go ahead and let's actually set this portal into this hill right here, why not? So I'll just mine this out. One, two, three, one, two, and one. So there is the basic nether portal set up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I'm assuming we just right click with the mining multi tool. And yep, there we go. We have a portal to. Um, it. So to go through the portal, you have to sneak in it, all right? So uh, I want to get my lamb chops, uh, cooked mutton. So uh, we got some wood, we got some stone, uh, we got food, we got a bed in case we need it, we got coal, we can make some torches. Um, let's actually use this stick and make some torches right now so we have a little bit and we have some dirt. So, all right, I think we are good to go ahead and travel into this dimension. Uh, wish me luck, guys. I have no idea what's going to be in here. Um, hopefully, fingers crossed, I don't crash. So, because that would be very bad. But let's see. So, oop, oh, that was quick. Okay. Do, 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 Okay. Come on, hurry up. You can do it. So yes, okay. Um So take me to the mining dimension. To the mining. Oh, 
Okay, loading terrain. All right, and I think we made it. Okay, we have made it to the mining dimension. All right. Nice. Um, so this looks like a flat world. All right. Um, is this a cave? Or is this something else? That looks like it's probably something else. It's just water. Okay. So apparently the mining dimension is a super flat world. It's a it's in a mining biome though. So I suppose we just uh we just mine and see what we can find. Um, so we already found something there. All right. Um I guess we just start mining. I don't particularly like the strip mine, but okay. So is this like a peaceful so so is it like mobs won't spawn in here? Cuz if so, that's pretty cool. Um, if that's the case, hard to say though. Three, one. Mining biome, huh? Never heard of one of those. So basically, we need to find, um, some iron, probably is going to be what we need the most of. So, uh, broke my pickaxe. Um, let's quickly make another one then. All right, so uh, this place looks to be um, pretty basic, just a super flat world in a mining biome. I've honestly never um, heard of a mining biome before. So it's interesting. Um, give me that back. I wonder if it's always daytime. That would be that would be an interesting one. So, but it looks like there are monsters down here. Um, we are pretty high up in terms of y coordinates, so we may have to go pretty deep. It is getting very dark as well. Actually, if there are mob mobs down here, that means that there are uh, cave systems. Which would be very nice. I really would hope. I really hope that there are cave systems, uh, because that would make mining a whole lot easier. I really like the strip mine. I'm not so much a fan, or wait, not strip mine. Spelunk, spelunking for my, for my materials. I'm not a huge fan of strip mining. I think that's I think that's the difference. Is that right? I don't remember if that's the difference. Is strip mining the one where you go into caves and mine, or is it the one where you are actually like digging tunnels and uh, stripping everything so that, yeah, that would be a strip mine. Yep, that's right. That's right. Well, we should get a bunch of uh, tin and copper from this. So that means that we might be able to make um, bronze once we get our smeltery up. And then we can make some bronze tools. Bronze tools might work. Use bronze tools instead of iron tools at the beginning. Ah, iron! Yeah, that's what I wanted. Let's get another torch down. And we have iron. Fantastic. Let's expand this out a little bit. Get a little bit more room in here. All right. Iron. Fantastic. So we'll get this iron. Um, nice. It's all mine. Yes. All right. So that is six iron. Nice. Not uh, not the most, but it is some iron, which we need. All right, well, um, I think probably that's going to be good for this dimension. We can probably head back and try and get the smeltery up and running. Um, now, hopefully, I'm hoping that he hasn't disabled the um, turning stone into seared bricks once we get the smeltery up and running. So that's what I'm hoping. Um, because then I can make the bare minimum size for the furnace, 
and then we can have the, all that set up square and nice. Um, so yeah, it looks like it is always uh, a single point in time. It looks like it is always high noon in this biome. Um, there's a bunch of stuff. I want to check out these trees before we leave real quick. And actually, we can kill some of these sheep as well. Really? I killed them in like one stroke with my axe, and it takes like three with the sword. Uh, kill some sheep, get some more food. So that's nice. So we can come here, kill a bunch of sheep, uh, get food. I think, what are what kind of trees are these? Because I might grab some, depending on what they are. This looks interesting. It is a Merrill, Merrill, Merrill from Int Integrated Dynamics. So Merrill wood, or Men Menril, Menril log, Menril. Hmm. Menril. Use it as a log. Um, is it used as? That looks like just regular. It looks like it's probably just regular wood. Um, Menril planks. Yeah, it looks like it's just wood. Okay. Well, it looks pretty cool. Um, maybe we'll come back and we can use that to build a building. It's very blue. Um, but anyway, let's head on back. Uh, I am very hungry. We can head on back through the portal. Um, and... Hopefully it won't take so long to load this time as it did last time, but yeah, we'll head on back through the portal, uh, see about getting a smeltery set up. Um, we're going to need a bunch of clay and some, um, we're going to need a bunch of clay. Ooh, very fast. Very nice. Okay. Uh, we're going to need a bunch of clay and we are going to need a bunch of sand. So um, I have a little bit of gravel, but we also are going to need more of that as well. So... Yeah, all right. So let's drop off our metals. Um, so we have a little bit of iron. So we have a little of, of uh, different things now, which is nice. All right. Um, I guess we'll just head on and get some clay and gravel. Or clay and sand, excuse me. All right, so that's salt. Uh, we got some clay over here. So we're pretty much probably going to be stripping... Um, oh, that's not clay. There's clay over there, though. So we'll grab this clay, and then we'll probably head on to the uh, first little stream that we came across when we first showed up on this island. Um, and then get a bunch of uh, clay and sand from over there. And then I don't think we're going to get the smeltery up this episode, but we can at least start smelting the grout. Um, so I did find the uh, the gravel over here. I can actually show you guys where I found that. Um, it wasn't a lot of gravel, uh, as you could see, and there's actually a little bit more over there, which we're going to want to grab. But I grabbed a little bit, um, got a flint so that we could make that, um, and then we're going to continue from there and see what we get. So, nice. I like it when it fill all fills up like that. Um, we'll probably connect this stream and then dig it out some more as we as we will need more sand. Alright, so that's uh, that's half a stack. Um, if I can get some more clay as well, and then if we can get half a stack of gravel, that should be enough grout to um, make what we need, uh, hopefully. So right there is where I found the... Um, where I found the... Uh, whatchamah... Who's it? Um, gravel, that's the word. I really forgot grout, how to say the word for gravel. Yep, that's, that's, that's the kind of mental state I'm in most of the time. Alright, so we can dig up some more of this gravel. Look, yeah, that's what I was hoping for, that there would be more underneath. So we can get as much of this as we can. There we go. Alright, um, it's another 11. There's more here. I could grab as well. Let's grab it, why not? Grab as much of it as we can. Might as well. We're gonna need it. Alright. Um, I grab that. Doesn't fix that. That's okay. 
that's okay. We can just leave that like that. Okay, well, uh, there is our gravel, so if I head on back to um, base, we can start cooking up some grout. Um, and I can actually use my coal to cook up the grout, so that would be nice. Uh, we'll get the grout cook up, hooked up, we'll get the smeltery, um, and then we can't make an iron bucket yet, so we'll have to make a clay bucket to get a l little bit of lava um, to start the smeltery off, and then we can get, then we can start making an iron bucket and all of that. So, how much grout? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, 32. So that's not going to be enough, but we need some more of this. So can I make can I make a whole stack of grout? Um, it does not look like it. It looks like we are short on um. We are short on uh, gravel, so that's okay. Uh, we made almost a stack of grout, so that will cook up into seared bricks. And then hopefully that will give us enough seared bricks to make our um, to make our basic smeltery, and then I can use uh, I can cook cobblestone in it to make it bigger uh, once we need to. So so I think another thing this guide said was that the smeltery does not double ores. Is that correct? Um, yes, the smeltery doesn't double your ores. So. Uh, we're going to need to either make a iron pickaxe in Tinkers. Uh, speaking of Tinkers, we should probably go ahead and set up a bunch of Tinker stuff. If I open this... Right, yeah, it doesn't matter. I know all of the Tinker stuff, so we can put that back. Um, but yeah, so we need to get some... We can get some Tinker stuff set up um, so that we can make some Tinker's tools. Uh, we'll probably want to make eight. Uh, and then once we've got these Tinker's tools, uh, once we've got these t this Tinker stuff set up, we can go ahead and start advancing. So we'll need to make uh, an iron pickaxe in order to get bauxite so that we can make casts. So what we might do is I think there are clay, um, yeah, there are clay ones. So if we cook some clay and then we put a stone pickaxe head into here, we can make a clay cast, which I think is like a one-use item. Um, so, yeah, we'll probably have to end up doing that. Um, I do actually have to build like a house or something down here um, or over here. You know what? I might build it up one over on this, but I can probably clear this area and build a house. Build a, uh, area off camera it's probably a better idea um and yeah so uh the plan that I, we have uh is to get the smeltery up and then once we have the smeltery up can probably make an iron pickaxe because we don't quite have enough um iron and i would rather make a tinker's construct one than a regular one anyway so we'll get that set up uh I'm actually going to need to cook some glass as well, because we're going to need a tank. But there's the startings of it, so if I just start putting it like right here. Or should I put it one more over? I think one more back. Nope, right there, because then we'll just fill in this area, actually. Put you right there, and then we'll just put it up and around. So I don't know if this is going to be enough. Probably not. Um, knowing me, so put that there. That, oops, that's the wrong spot. Put this one there. So we'll need um, the tank, four, five, six, seven more bricks, and then a drain and a casting table and a thing. Um, I think we might actually get enough out of this. It might actually be possible to get enough. Um, if I look up clay, so a clay bucket, we need to make an unfired clay bucket, which is just clay. So we can go ahead, we can make that. Um, so we'll make a clay bucket. Cause we know where lava is. We'll need to cook up one glass. Um, 
we'll use uh, oak saplings in order to do it once this is done. Um, I could make another furnace. You know what, why not, let's just make another furnace. I have enough, we'll need more furnaces eventually, even if they're just crafting tools by then. Um, some glass. All right, but yes, um, I'm going to let this finish. Uh, I'll probably finish building the smeltery off camera. Uh, clear a spot for a house. Um, I'll probably wait to actually turn on the smeltery and do all that till um, next episode on camera. But anyway, guys, yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Um, hope you all are enjoying, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Till then, guys. Bye-bye.